watching Blaze Weekly. 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 Hey there, Brinzel. Good morning, and welcome to Blaze Weekly. I'm Thomas Lidholm. And I'm Lauren Gimmonson. We have three pretty sweet stories on the marching band, the boys' soccer team, and a wrap-up to homecoming week. So let's get started. As we all know, the Brunswick Marching Band is a staple at sport events and other school activities. Our senior correspondent, Kelly Bilo, followed them at a football game to get more information on the Marching Blaze. The Marching Band can be seen at many of the school's events, such as football games and pep fests. But few realize just how much time goes into the band. Band director, Mr. French, talks about the time commitment of the students involved. So we practice one night a week during the summer where we work on music and um, we spend the summer learning the music we're going to be using during the fall season and then two weeks before teacher workshop we go for full days and we practice every day and then once school starts we practice two nights a week. Though time consuming, each member of the marching band has their own reasons for joining. I decided to do marching band because <laughs> I wasn't good at sports and my brother had done it um, earlier, he graduated a while ago, and he really liked it, so I decided I'd give it a try, and I really like music. I personally decided, well, I was on the fence about doing marching band, but my junior high band teacher told me to do it because it will make me a better musician, and now I'm becoming a music major, so it was just one of those, it was a nice way to come to the high school, meet people before actually going to school. I'm senior correspondent Kelly Below reporting for Blaze Weekly. Thanks, Kelly. We're looking forward to seeing and hearing them at the next event. The boys' soccer team has had some great moments this year, including a tie against the number one team in the state. Jackie checked out a game and found out more about this year's team. The individual boys' soccer team is currently 4-4-2 in the best conference in the state, but that is not bothering the boys. We're really bonding well. None of the guys have a problem with each other, and we're just having as much fun as we can. Coach Ranza has goals for the team to get into the top half of the conference, and he's confident they can do it. In the toughest, one of the toughest conferences in the state for soccer, and uh, just to finish on the top half. It's not just Coach Taranzo that has high goals for the team. Senior Bryce Pyle has high expectations as well. I guess work on giving goes more. We've been kind of slow coming up and down the sides. We could use the end line more and swing in, but other than that, we're actually pretty good. We just had some unlucky games this year. Good luck to the boys as they hopefully finish their season Mendoza strong. At the spot. Signing off for Blaze Weekly, I'm Jackie Rivera. And he finishes it strongly. Mauricio Mendoza on the penalty kick Bur Goal puts Burnsville up 1-0. Thanks, Jackie. Check out the boys' team tonight at 7 p.m. against Pryor Lake and on Saturday at 11 a.m. versus Eden Prairie. Both games are at home. Last week was filled with school pride, great turnouts to the powder puff, bonfire, football game, dance, and dressing up. Here's a campus question asking BHS students what they liked best about homecoming week. Okay, my favorite time at the homecoming dance was me and my friend hanging out in the gym doing the Gangnam Style. Okay, my favorite time was the homecoming game because the uh, Burnsville team won. My favorite part of homecoming week was the football game. My favorite thing about homecoming week was about dress up day. My favorite part about homecoming week was the pet fest on Monday and of course the teachers dancing. My favorite thing about homecoming week was the powder puff game on Monday night. Oh, definitely 80s day. My favorite thing about, about homecoming week has got to be just the camaraderie and all the excitement in the school over the week and having fun every day. Uh, my favorite thing was the homecoming game, sharing with my friends, and we won for a change. My favorite thing about homecoming week was the pep rally on Monday. The free punch. My favorite part was Hawaiian Day. That's easy, powder puff. Uh, powder puff, Thanks. easy one. My favorite part of homecoming week was powder puff because we dominated. Congratulations to King Luke Kegley and Queen Maddie Harpel, and thanks to all BHS students for making it such a great week. That's all for us today here at Blaze Weekly. Make sure to check back next week for another show. Thanks for watching, and as Porky Pig always says, that's all, folks. I don't know what to say. No. Okay. Hello. Say something. I was just said hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to study abroad in Utah. Yeah. Should I just say I'm Natalie Kissel, reporter for Blaze Weekly? Brunsville has made many opportunities for. <laughs> okay, stop! Don't say it. Brunsville has made many opportunities. <laughs> Show shoot. shoot. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Reporting for Blaze Weekly, I'm Natalie Kissel. Reporting for Blaze Weekly, I'm Natalie Kissel. to set study. Students. students. Burnsville has made many... Oh. <laughs> Burnsville has made... <laughs> Oops. Burnsville has created many opportunities. Oh, wait, I was laughing. Um, if you see any of them in the hall, make sure to say Guten Tag. I'm not going to say that. There's people coming. Hold on. Okay. Reporting for Blaze Weekly, I'm Natalie Kissel.